Steve, uh, a quick clarification on, on Marcus. Is he definitely out for uh, this weekend? I wouldn't say he's definitely out. He, he can walk right now. He may make a nice recovery between now and then and see how he's running around Thursday or Friday. Okay, and also, my other question, um, you know, when you first came here, you had a couple of historic road wins, and but haven't been able to win on the road in the last two years. What's happened? We're getting less points than the other team. <laughs> two, that's exactly what's happened. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's don't make any more about we should have beat Kentucky. They made 21 first downs to our 17. Uh, they made nine third downs. We made, we made five of ten. Uh, they made three for three fourth downs. Uh, they played better than us. Yeah, we had, and then we had a lot of errors. We, we had four turnovers. They had none. So uh, they speed us. You know, we don't sit around here and mope about the missed assignments, which helped lose too. But, uh, you know, overall, they in, in the total course of the game, they outplayed us. So uh, give, give those guys credit and uh, shoot their right in the hunt uh, for the Eastern Division also. Is there anything specific on playing on the road? Oh, about playing on the road? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We haven't, uh, we haven't played very well. We've uh, been sort of a flat bunch, uh, it appears at times. But at other times, uh, guys are really playing well. Um, but again, uh, you know, our third down defense was uh, – was not good last week and uh, had so many good plays. First, second, bloody sacks. Leading, leading the conference in sacks. Uh, but you, you got to play the third down. You got to play the entire game. And uh, we certainly, uh, as it turned out, didn't do it very well. Steve, does Marcus mean that much to the offense right now, or is, is that just exaggerated? Well, yeah, Marcus, uh, yeah, the runs he had going last week or something. You know, he broke two or three tackles about every one of them. So it wasn't any. We didn't have any gaping holes there that he just had to run. Uh, but uh, anyway, the, the line blocked uh, well at times, but they had a lot of missed assignment errors too. They had a lot. So we, uh, you know, I don't have the answer for it. I guess we, as coaches, we can't get them to play their assignments very well. So we, we'll take the blame. Is that just coincidence that things kind of bottled up once he went out, do you think, or are they related? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how uh, second half uh, we let Kentucky get back in it with uh, the long drive, the 95-yard drive, and that's an 11-point game. So it's a uh, seemed like we were backed up, having penalties, drop snaps, had an offensive interference penalty that was very questionable. But anyway, uh, some stuff started happening, and uh, we didn't go very far. We had a big sack. I think the only sack of the game. But uh, anyway. That's the way it happened. How, how come that you talked about those errors, the, the mm -hmm. bad snaps and the penalties? Uh, how come those became so prevalent in the second half and it wasn't a problem? Well, I think it just showed up. It just showed up crucial times is what happened. Mm -hmm. Steve, um, you talked about how wide open the SEC East is. If, if Vanderbilt wins, they're actually at least tied for first place. Are you surprised at the parity in the division? Well, not really. Uh, again, uh, Georgia started off down a bit, but they're coming back. Florida's down a bit. Uh, Tennessee's down a bit from where they usually are. So we, we've had a chance to, to really do some good here. Uh, but last week uh, put us in the wide pretty much with everybody. So we, we still have a good chance. We have, we have a good chance if we can play. But if we play the way we've been playing, Sometimes uh, it would be very difficult for us. And we got to, you know, we got to play well on the road. Yeah, I don't have the answer for uh, the road woes. We don't have any excuses. Uh, just to have it played very well. <clears throat> and especially in the second half. I mean, you can't say we weren't ready. Uh, we've had three games in a row that uh, offensively we scored three touchdowns in the first four possessions, three games in a row, and lost two out of three. So that didn't mean anything. But second half, we, we don't, don't go very far. Steve, you mentioned Vanderbilt and about their discipline on defense and how they always seem to be in position. Uh -huh. The problems you have with your secondary, is, is discipline a problem there or is it just a, a scheme thing? I would say discipline's a problem. And I would say if they're confused on our scheme thing, uh, we need to straighten that out. But 
we, we've had some careless play that uh, hopefully we can correct. And hopefully our guys uh, want to correct. So we'll, and that's offense and defense. I mean, you know, we got a blocking scheme. We put an R on it called, called Roger. And one of our guys went left. I said, did you hear the call? Yes, sir. Why'd you, why didn't you go right? I just made a mistake. That was, that's, a, that's an answer I've been hearing six years around here. Coach, I just made a mistake. So uh, hopefully someday we can get out of that, but we're not out of it yet. I just made a mistake. It's called mental toughness. That's the new word I've, I've learned from uh, these people. That, uh, they're talking about Dallas Cowboys. They're not mentally tough. There's a reason they make a lot of mistakes. So maybe that's us, us too that – I, I and our coaches, uh, we, we can't get our, our guys to be mentally tough. And we make a lot of errors. So we'll keep trying, though, and, and see how badly our guys want to play their assignments. But it's uh, it's a problem. we we got a lot of good players that, uh, for some reason, we cannot teach them to be mentally tough at times. Turn up turnovers, your turnover margin has been so bad. Are you surprised you've been as competitive as you have, mm -hmm. given that you're giving up so many more than the other guy? And how do you switch it? How do you change yeah, it? Yeah, we're just not getting any. Uh, we haven't had an interception in three games. Uh, we got one against Furman, I guess, was the last one. And uh, everybody's throwing 35, 40 times almost at us every week. So, uh, again, uh, you know, somebody's got to try to step up and make some plays here and there. Uh, but we did uh, have some, some turnovers last week with the drop punt. First time I think Stefan's done that. And uh, Ace had his phone at the end of the half and had a couple of careless picks uh, in, in, uh, in the game also. But anyway, uh, we, we got we to gotta move on. We, we, we can't uh, dwell on, you know, the last game or the, the Auburn game or whatever or the Alabama game. We can't dwell on them. We got to move on. And uh, try to get ready for Vander Vanderbilt. Uh, they'll, they'll be tough. They'll watch that Kentucky tape and say, we can beat those guys. Let's go get us a win. That's what they're saying. We can beat those guys. So we, we know it's going to be a, a, a very tough game. <clears throat> All right. All right. See you guys in Vandy, Nashville. Music City.